What's up, fellas? So I got a patron supporter that said a manager at the apartment that he's trying to sign a lease for is sending him choosing signals. All right, guys. So, guys, let me put y'all on some game right now. Anytime you're doing something that could save a woman some money or benefit her in any type of way, you're going to get choosing signals every fucking time. I guarantee fucking well, not all the time, but a lot of the times from the manipulative women. All right, for the women that love to use men' sexual needs against them. Some women, listen, if they don't want to fuck you, they ain't finna tease you or play with you. But if some women, they get a kick out of just manipulating men and toying with men. Let me tell y'all guys something. As a bouncer in the city. Y'all guys have any idea how many fucking choosing signals I don't forgot from girls? Now, when I was over 300 pounds, I got more choosing signals as a 300 pound bouncer than I get now. Why that is? Why do y'all guys think that is? Because I was doing something that could benefit women. See, guys, I know a lot of you guys are, may not be familiar with New York and shit like that, but up here in New York, at a lot of the high end spots or some of the nicer spots that you want to go to, you can't pay your way in. You can't either you know somebody or you're gonna spend some so let me let me break this down to you guys. As a man up here in New York at a lot of the good spots you wanna get into, you can't pay $10, 20 to get in. Either your ass gonna buy a bottle or you know somebody. You got the hookup and you know somebody. Or you with a flock of women. You could be with if you a dude and you bought five girls that look like fucking supermodels, okay, you can get in that motherfucker. Alright? As a woman. Either you're going to know a promoter, know one of the bouncers or the managers or somebody like that, or you just sexy as hell. That's At a lot of the spots in New York, that's the only, you can't pay your way in. A lot of these spots up here, they're privileged. You can't pay your way in. So what the girls do is, they go in, they toy and play around to manipulate a lot of the bouncers. All right? And so when I first got there, man, I'm thinking I'm the man. I'm thinking, I'm, man, I'm thinking I'm the dude. I'm thinking I'm that fucking dude, man. All right, guys? And you find out real quick, these women have no fucking interest in you. These girls simply want to use you so they can call you to get in the club the next time they want to come back to that club. A lot of the spots in New York are like that, guys. A lot of them. If you're a dude, it be, if, you ain't, if you ain't don't know somebody, be prepared to either do a tab or fucking uh, buy a bottle or you better come with your gang of chicks. And they all better look good. But not one look like nothing. Or you won't get in a lot of the spots up here, guys. And so the women have to try to manipulate the fucking bouncers, guys. All right? And so if you're a guy like this, you got to understand that women are going to toy with you to get what they want. All right, guys? It's just the way it is, guys. Now, if you a guy that's on your purpose and shit, you did... Listen, if you're doing on your purpose and shit like this right here, and you're doing something, and you're in a field that can benefit a hip, you gonna your choosing signals gonna go through the fucking roof. Now, guys, I'm gonna put y'all guys up on something now. All right, we use women hypergamy against them. We don't bitch and complain over here. I listen, that's fine. We don't we don't bitch and complain. But I'm gonna tell y'all guys something. A lot of these women don't even plan on ever doing nothing with you. Sometimes they will. All right, sometimes they will. But a lot of times these women are just simply trying to use you and you'll get nothing in return. And if these women do fuck you, they look at you as a trick. All right. As somebody that they only fucked or did something with because you did something to benefit them. Can I tell y'all guys something? Put y'all up on game. Women don't respect tricks. Did y'all know that? Women don't respect Johns. For any of you guys that going to say, well, LMS, you take these girls on date. That's tricking. Motherfucker. I go on dates and I go to spots that I want to go to. I ain't never went to no date, no restaurant thinking like, oh, this going to really impress her and she going to like me if I take her here. I don't give a fuck where she want to go. I go to the spots that I want to go. I work hard during the week and so I want to treat myself on the weekend. And so whichever girl that's lucky enough to get that day, she get the benefit of being my company. Like I told you guys, I don't fuck with dudes. I don't. I know a lot of you guys like to go out 10 deep and be all on your homeboy back in the club and shit, sitting in the goddamn booth and shit, 10 deep with a bunch of dudes and shit, popping ballers. And that's never been my thing, guys. I always been a ladies man. I always been the dude that fuck with chicks. I ain't never been that dude where I want to go hang out with dudes all night. That that's never been me. 
All right, I could do it on a birthday or something. It's never been me. That ain't what I do. All right, I fuck with women. And they just get the benefit of coming with me. I never did a date in my life that I thought, oh, this going to really impress her. I don't give a fuck what she want. All right, if I want to go bowling, if that's what I'm in the mood for, I'll call and say, hey, I'm going bowling. You care to come along? All right, that's how I handle it. Ain't no goddamn, oh, let me think of something that's going to really impress her. All right, guys, so I just wanted to break that down, the difference between my dating is all in perception. All right, it's all in perception. You date to impress, and I date because that's what I want to fucking do, and you just get the benefit of coming along. All right, guys, and so we use women hypergamy against them, but <clears throat> when you do actually do something that's, quote, unquote, trying to impress a woman or tricking, she don't fucking respect you. All right, guys, so I just wanted to put y'all up on that. But yes, guys, do not fall this. I never tried to fuck none of my clients as a trainer or none of that fucking bullshit. Ever. Because I know how it's going to go. It's going to fucking cost me money. Yeah, I'm getting ass, but now you don't want to pay me because I'm fucking you. So I'm doing a session for 120 Now I'm giving it to you because you my girl or we fucking around. Basically, I just paid for the ass. That's what I did. Quote, unquote. Fucking my client. I should get free sessions. That's an exchange. I don't I don't buy pussy guys. I don't buy pussy. If you go on dates, and listen, if you somebody that don't want to go on a nice date and you take a woman on a nice date because that's what she suggested, you tricking. She you tricking like a motherfucker. I tell a woman where well, I wanna go and that's where I'ma go if you get it when we whoa. Well only way I take a woman consideration into something is she allergic and she'll eat seafood or something like that and I'll go into a seafood spot. That's the only way. All right, that's the only way I take a woman's consideration into it. All right, guys. So no, do not. If, if listen, you can do what you fucking want to do. I'm just gonna let you know that whenever you're doing something that can help a woman, yes, you're gonna get fucking choosing signals. All right, you can do what the fuck you want to do. Yes, yeah, sometimes you'll fuck. I never want to mix business with pleasure, ever. All right, never, never with women because I know how they is. All right, guys. All right. So I hope I cleared that up. Whenever you're in a position, if you're a police officer, you pull women over, they're going to be batting their eyes and shit like that right there. If you're, if you're a guy on your purpose and you're going to have employees and you have females, they're going to be batting their eyes and shit like that right there. All right? And then what's ha what happens? Y'all guys in the, guys watch Hustle and Soul? Fuck the girls and they fighting this shit they do because now they fucking you, they fucking the boss, and so now you can't even give them the act right. Do y'all guys grasp what I'm saying? This is what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, guys, do not mix business with pleasure. All right, guys. All right, I'll get back with y'all guys later.